before we jump into the next step of the reverse engineering process, um, I want you to share uh, some tips and a couple things to think about. Uh, one of the biggest ones is before you start doing anything, you gotta think about what's your goal, right? You gotta have some kind of goal to guide you through the process. Uh, what, what are you looking for? Are you looking for some passwords? Are you looking for some hard-coded keys? Um, I mean, why are you looking in this, uh, you know, in this binary in the first place, right? Uh, you gotta have some kind of reason. If not, you can just spend all day spinning your wheels looking at assembly code. It's kind of lost, you know. And especially when you first get started, it's kind of not super fun to just be looking at assembly code and have no idea what you're doing. Um, so I, I suggest if you're just you know getting started, um, get uh, try to find some CTF challenges. Um, there's quite a few up there. Um, I'll recommend if you can find some that have like multiple questions, like multiple goals. Uh, for example, there's some that might ask you, hey, what, what compiler was used to, to uh, you know, to compile this binary? Uh, what operating system? And and then and then they ask you to find a flag and and maybe other kinds of information like that. Um, so I highly recommend uh, something like that because it gives you um, not only one goal but it gives you a different goal. So so you're looking kind of like at the whole analysis, you know, of the file. Not yes, like just for example, yes, reverse engineer, yes, assembly. Um, it's kind of good to know that stuff. Um, uh, another side tip that I have is that um, when I first get a file, I usually just throw it in all three of these uh, programs that I'm going to be talking about. Um, that's Binary Ninja, Ghidra, and Ida Pro, right? So let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so I have some databases for them already saved. Oh, I already have them open. Okay, sweet. So there we go. Okay, that's, they're all open. And. So let's look at here what it, uh, Ghidra found. So this is what Ghidra found. All these different functions. That is sweet, it's probably main here. What else main? Cool. All right. So the reason why I throw out all three of them is because sometimes, you know, that they might give you different things, right? Um, they, you know, each program performs its own heuristics, you know, its own uh, scans, if you will, of um, in the files, and they have different ways of doing things. And and you might find something uh, in one and not the other, um, and that's really helpful, especially when you're first getting started. Um, um, even when I am getting started, like it's with a new binary, right? It's brand new. I'll throw in all three of them and see what, what they give me. Um, and sometimes you can find something pretty pretty easily. Something I found sometimes like I'd be lost in one of them, and I'll oh, let me throw let me throw in Ida and see what happens. And I'm like, oh, okay, Ida just kind of guides me, gui almost guides me to where I need to, to go. Um, so that's that's a tip that I can give. You that's that's worth it. Um, another thing is that um, all three of these programs, they all have uh, their own like scripting language. Um, I mean, they're all scripting support, so um, they all they all handle Python. I mean, support Python. And so, the cool thing about that is, I guess you can stick with Python uh, for like uh, the scripting. Uh, now, the caveat to that is that you know each one has their own little flavor of like how they do things. So, if you're getting to that, and you have to kind of like dig into how how certain things are done in, in, in that program, right? Um, I don't deal too much with the scripting, especially not right now. Um, I, when I used to do a lot more reverse engineering, then I will. I started getting into some uh, scripting with Binary Ninja, and that was kind of it's kind of helpful because you can have it just uh, run. You know, you have run your code, and it'll, for example, find all the system calls, and it'll just go through it and show you, you know, all the system calls and stuff like that. Um, let's see what's next. Uh, oh, another thing is that they all have shortcuts. Uh, some of them like cross over. And, and that's pretty helpful, especially once you, like if you're using it a lot, you, you start learning the hotkeys and you can just like, you know, do things pretty fast and and uh, it works out. But then if, you know, the ones that don't cross over them, then might be like, you know, pain because you're like, oh, that's how you do it in Night Up, and, you know, how you do it by the Ninja or, or, or Ghidra, right? So that's another thing. Um, and another thing to think about uh, before uh, you start doing the static analysis, uh, so, sometimes what I do is I, I run the binary, like, you know, if it's something you know, funky, something you don't know, you suspect might be something funky. Um, you put it in a binary. I mean, I'm sorry, in a virtual machine, right? And and just run it in there and see what it's doing. And so let's go through that real quick. Uh, so, okay, this is the Windows one. So let's see what does this one. Do? Um, well, that doesn't work, right? Okay, so it says, "Welcome to Top Security Software Inc." Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Okay, so is there a password? Let's try it. password. Oh, nope, sorry. Okay, cool. So at least I know a little something about what it's doing, right? Let's go for a password. Okay. All right. So that gives me an idea. You know, there's some strings here, some interaction. Um, that way, when I go uh, into this program, I'm not going in completely blind. I, I know there is there's something there. There's some interaction. So, okay. So for example, for this, well, I can say, okay, well, this is probably like a printf statement. This one as well as a printf statement. And there's going to be some maybe scanf to, you know, to intake the password. And then there's a sort of string when you get it wrong. Okay. That kind of, that helps you um, start building a puzzle in your mind, right? And uh, especially if you know C, that's why I think uh, no C is pretty helpful um, because you can start building this this puzzle as you go, um, even without uh, looking at the you know the assembly code. All right, um, I'm gonna leave it here uh, for this video, and then we're gonna step into the next to the next section, probably starting out with Binary Ninja.